Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to patch and install custom themes into Windows 7. Now, in order to patch Windows 7 to allow custom themes to be used, you're going to need this application called Universal Theme Patcher, which is basically going to patch the files we need to use in order to get custom themes enabled. So, go, first you want to go to the link in the description, which will lead you to this page, and just you want to download one of these um, zip folders. They're all the same, but from different mirrors. Once downloaded, um, it should be in a zip file. You want to extract it to your desktop, like I already did right here. From here, you just want to run whichever installer or exe here bets, bet, uh, best fits your platform. So if you're in 64 bit, 64 bit. If you're in 32 bit, x86. So once you've um, gone to this folder, you want to run whichever as your as an administrator. Then select your language, hit OK. And then when this comes up, hit yes. Then you're just going to go ahead and patch the three files. And then close out of this. And it's going to ask you to restart your computer. Go ahead and restart. And then once you're done, I am going to be leaving two, um, two themes that I'm using right now into the description. So you guys can go ahead and test out um, custom themes on Windows 7. The one I'm using right now is called Soft 7 1.7, which is right here in the description. And... Basically, all you have to do to install the theme after you've patched the files is go ahead and hit download, save, save it to your desktop, and it's downloading right now. As you see, the theme has a nice color scheme to it. I prefer this very much over the original theme. Once you've done downloading, hit open, allow. And then you want to extract it again to now actually open the folder. And if your super bar is on top of the screen, you're gonna extract soft seven on top. If it's, if it's on the bottom, like it usually is, just extract soft seven. Once you have extracted the file, you're gonna to go to start computer, local disk, C, Windows, and then scroll down to it says resources. And then navigate to themes and then drag the folder in here. Now I'm not gonna do that because I already have it in here. It's right here. And then in this folder, actually wait, yeah. You're gonna want to open this folder and then drag these two items into here. And then then you have the theme. Then you can go into this soft seven folder and then add custom backgrounds like I did. Like I'm using this background, or this background, or this background, or this background, or the default stock seven theme, soft seven theme, right here. So the reason I added those wallpapers is because when I go to personalize, when I go to desktop background, it navigates me to soft seven folder, and then I get to pick those wallpapers. As you see, it fades out really, really nicely. It looks really nice too. Now this goes for the same thing with the other uh, theme, and your theme doesn't have an on top folder, so uh, it only has one. So basically, you just extract the one f folder, open it, copy the two files into your resources folder, and boom, that's it. So I hope this helped you guys. I know a lot of people are doing it now. So go ahead, download as much themes as you want. A site I would recommend is Divine Art. They have lots and lots and lots of themes there. Go ahead and check out Divine Art. And thanks for watching my video. Quick follow up, guys. All of the themes and links that I've downloaded and showed you guys where to get it and everything, all credit goes to PC Pro Kid 7.